Hi, my name is Brian Lanzer from The Lanzel Show. And before tonight's episode starts, I'd like to give a, a brief disclaimer. If you don't find the humor in video games, hockey, online hockey, or the French, this episode may not be for you. I've got a serious bad feeling about this one. number 71 of the Langell Show. My name is Brian Langell and you know what? I want to make a public apology right off the bat. Before we go any further, I want to apologize to anybody who plays World of Warcraft because I didn't understand. I didn't quite get what you guys were talking about. I, I just... I'll be honest, I was ignorant. I didn't get it. I didn't understand how you can get off work on Friday afternoon, come home, sit down in front of your computer with a bag of cheesies and a couple bottles of Diet Coke, and completely disappear until Tuesday morning when you get a call from work going, uh, are you coming in today? You know, and you look down, your hands are covered in cheese, and, and you're, you're sitting there in your underwear, and you realize you've just blown four days sitting in front of a computer screen, you know, as an elf with a sword, you know, playing World of Warcraft. I didn't understand. I didn't get it. I'm sorry. It just wasn't something that appealed to me. And I really thought you guys were crazy. Well, I'll say crazy because it's politically correct. But I had other terms to describe you guys too. I'm not saying I agree with it. I'm not saying, you know, I want to become some magical elf with a sword and a shield. But, you know, at least I understand now, because I've played 77 games of online hockey in NHL 09 in the last two weeks. 77. That's almost an entire NHL season in a week and a half. Anyway, we're not going to talk about World of Warcraft anymore, other than to say, you know, I still don't know why you do it, but I get the attraction. Well, I shouldn't say that. I understand why you do it. I just don't understand why it's World of Warcraft. So remember a couple weeks ago when I came out, you know, before the addiction began, and I told you guys that story. We were all trying to play hockey, and we couldn't because one guy couldn't get his shit together, or however you want to word it, considering he was in the bathroom. Yeah, remember that story? Thought that was hilarious. The best story in the history of online hockey. I've got another one, and I'm not quite sure whether or not it's the best story in the history of online hockey, but if it's not, it definitely comes in a close second. Because last night, our team got together, and before I go any further, to protect everybody, not that anyone actually needs protection, but just to make sure we're all on the up and up, I'm not going to be using people's real names in this episode, I'm using their gamer tags. So, now that we've got that out of the way... Uh, by the way, I'm Langel75. I, I know that's a big shock, but I figured, you know, you already know my name, so we'll we'll make that part easy. Yeah, so last night our team got together. There was four of us. There was Darth Punisher, Tenacious D-Man, Zeramus, and Langel75. And uh, we went into the lobby, and we sized up against this team from Montreal. And, you know, the number when I said... Everyone could talk back and forth in the lobby. Well, these guys were totally French. Now, our ace in the hole is the fact that Tenacious D-Man's from Montreal and can speak French. So he's kind of like our hockey whisperer. He can hear what's going on on the other side and, you know, translate and tell us what they're, what they're saying. So, not that they were saying anything about us, but it, it's a handy, convenient thing in case it ever, ever comes up. Like the story I'm about to tell you. Anyway, so we get into the game, and obviously we didn't do the whole good game, good luck thing, because with the language barrier, the language barrier, we didn't bother doing anything with that. We just kind of talked amongst ourselves. And uh, we get into the game. Now, whenever we play anybody French and I'm playing, the one thing I like to do is, when we score, I love to go, which is French for, and it's a goal, just because, you know, it's kind of, I it's inspiring. It makes you just want to, you know, Okay, it's kind of lame, but to me it's funny. They can't hear me, and I here I am celebrating that we scored a goal against them. In English, it's a goal, just doesn't carry the same. But you know, when you overemphasize, yeah, boo! Anyway, so we're playing the game, everything's fine, nothing, nothing, first period, and they pause the game. So we was like, yeah, no, no problem, it happens. So when we come back from the game, I can hear these guys talking in French, and I'm like, D-Man, what are you doing? He's like, waiting for the face-off, why? I'm like, no, 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 why, why are you talking French? I'm not. I said, well, someone's talking French. He goes, yeah, it's the other team. I said, you mean they can hear us? And then they stop. 
They, they think that we can't understand them, so them talking means nothing because we're English, they're French, etc., etc. I'm not saying anything because I'm kind of weary that maybe, you know, if D-Man can understand them, maybe they can understand us, the whole French-English thing. So I'm not really saying much. And then uh, Zeramus goes, okay, guys, take it up the boards, here we go. Now, Zeramus is on our team, keep that in mind. All of a sudden, it's like the parting of the Red Sea. Red jerseys go to the boards. I'm like, uh, Zeramus, you may not want to do that. He's like, yeah, I know, they're covering us. I'm like, no, 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 not to pass up the boards thing. You may not want to say what we're doing. Why? I'm like, why? Because they just blocked it. So we get past that a little bit. We go up the middle, things are fine. We end up scoring a goal. So I'm like, ah, uh, uh. And I don't bother doing a la boo thing because it's a totally different thing when they can hear you. So I just kind of let that one go. So the game's going on again, and, and Zeramis is, you know, just talking to us, things are cool. And one of the one of the opponents come down, and they do an S move. Now, if you don't play online hockey, you probably don't know what an S move is. In online hockey, it's one of the worst plays because it confuses the goal, and you can almost score every time. It's you make an S, and when you do, the goalie goes left and right, and of course, misses the shot. So... This guy does an S move, shoots, and luckily misses the net. So, you know, no harm, no foul. And Zermus goes nuts about, you know, effing Frenchmen and their S moves. And oh my god, you know, like Zermus, 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 just, just let it go. Let it go. And he's like, no, man, that pisses me off. I'm like, eh, just, just, just zero. And he's like, no. And he goes on this huge rant about, you know, hockey players and, and doing S moves and being from Montreal. And he tied all these together in a cute little bow. It was great. And I'm sitting there going, we're going to die. And they're mofing off too, but we I don't understand what they're saying. Now, I know what you're thinking. Lanzo, your last name is French. How do you not understand what they're saying? Can't you speak French? And well, your last name is McDonald, but you don't eat at McDonald's. So I guess... You know, you just got to give and go. So I'm sitting there going, okay, this can't possibly be any worse. And then I realize that Zeramus isn't in with the rest of us. He, uh, he doesn't understand that the French can hear us. So here he is going off in these huge rants. D-Man and I are kind of like, uh, this is awkward. And he's just ranting off. And, you know, it, it kind of made it funny at that point because I'm just kind of like, Zero. Zero, you, you may want to, and of course, he thinks that I'm saying it because he thinks my son is up and can hear what he's ranting about. So he goes, oh, I'm sorry, sorry, I won't, I won't say it again. I said, you know, we might not want to make these guys any more mad. I don't want to create an interprovincial incident just in case we have to play these guys again. And Zero goes off with this international, inter interprovincial incident and goes off about the, the French. So he's not anti-French. He's just being, you know, antagonistic. Just, just to make that clear, he's not anti-French. No one's anti-French. We love the French. Thank you for playing with us. Anyway, so I'm like, I'm like, you may want to tone it down because, you know, they've been listening to us the entire game. She goes, listening to us? They can't hear us. I'm like, yeah, they've been able to hear us since the first period. And you could hear a pin drop. Just bing. Because the whole game and all his commentary, I swear to God, went through his head in a matter of 10 seconds. It's like, just you could, you could just tell what was going on. He's like, uh, um, sorry. <laughs> anyway, we win the game 1-0. We uh, congratulate our good friends from Montreal on such a great game being played and very sportsmanlike and not doing anything cheap, right? Actually, I shouldn't say that. They were. They were really great players. It was the computer that did the S-move thing. It was just the five-minute rant after that that made it a bigger deal than what it was. Anyway, if you're from Montreal and speak French and want to play hockey, don't feel as though you can't play against us right now. Uh, feel free to come on and play. We love playing anybody. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. Thank you for watching episode number 71 of The Landry Show. You can check it out, thelandryshow.com and youtube.com. You can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash Langel. And before I go, just to make sure everything is cool, you know, bon chance, Montreal, and uh, uh, mon chat, manger, beaucoup de fromage, Hey, hey, no. Take care.